Pecku bedne na plno, tak nech to hraje kulo Moj tok numero uno Kedy ťa prevacuje ako sumo Není som kulo, ale múdaj do mláno stylo Sú žer ma vychutná ma ako gyros Na dobre veci brachu, ja mám určite do prínos Som varčí kráľek minus Mláno stylo, to je čistý prínos Jebal som 20 píč a karol čino Charizmu varču a... Alright guys, what's up? So we played around with this scene and well the last thing we will we, we'll be just looking at the lights putting the lights in this scene in this scene we're going to be looking at the cameras now um to to work with cameras in 3ds max it's pretty simple what you need is you, to make an animation you need a camera and you need to make that camera move and record and the camera is very important because camera is what you use for rendering okay you can render using like front and you can just press uh, shift and Q to render the front and you get the front but that's not really what you want you want to render from cameras you can even render from perspective using P but if you create if you click on the create key right here button and then on the fourth here click on cameras we have two cameras uh, if you got V-Ray you're gonna have V-Ray cameras uh, I have used them before but I always stick to the standard target uh, camera now to put in a target camera you simply select the target camera uh, easiest way is if you cl click P on, on the actual um, screen you can actually just draw it in if you want so you can just draw in the camera but you can't really see it really well you don't know where you're drawing it so sometimes it can be a bit messy but look, like that I've just done it you know, I've drawn it and then I have to move it around with the X and Y um, the pivot and the gizmo which I have and stuff but I'm just going to click delete that's not the best efficient way if we click on P and let's say we wanna we want a camera we want a camera starting off right here. Okay. Now we wanna put the camera like this, like where I have it with the perspective. So we're gonna go for the camera and then we're gonna go, alright, so I was somewhere around here, so I'm gonna put the camera here and then I'm gonna click on the perspective and go into the camera. Damn, I'm too low. Then you have to get the keys here and start moving the camera and you know start moving with the camera orbit and then the field of view and crap and you have to try to roll the camera then perspective and crap so I don't want to do none of this shit because this is too long alright <laughs> I'm gonna show you an easy way if you want to get the camera in there I have shown this in, in the other tutorial but let's just cover this again to get the camera in there like this all you do is just hold control and press C now if you the way, the way you know you have got a camera in there is if you watch this perspective as soon as I press the C this will change to camera 1 watch this I'm pressing control and C now did you see that camera 001 that means we're in camera right now if we press P see that it's changed to perspective we've gone back to perspective mode which means the camera is there now and that's great because we've actually put in a camera where we wanted without any hustle so let's say you wanted another camera right here but you think crap I'll go one camera there that's fine you can have up to like thousand cameras in the scene so let's say we just press control and see again okay and there's another camera great so let's go to the let's go to the actual camera and um, the reason the camera's changed is because I'm not any animation anything to it so if we actually select the auto key create an animation there and there yes then we go back to this one press P and then we go into the camera press control and C we would get camera 2 but because we didn't do any animation to that first camera or nothing that camera got deleted now if we click here okay press P again and create another camera here we're gonna get camera 3 and now we can start creating random cameras so um, make sure you select the box and press C camera 4 um, I can put, you know, I can put as many cameras as I want now. Actually, if you want to change the camera's position, let's say we take camera, this camera right here, and we go here and press Ctrl and C. So let's say we take this camera and press Ctrl and C. We will change that camera's position to come right here. That's what I meant. So you don't, you, you don't have to set the keyframes, but you can select the camera and move it. So let's say we select this camera and we go down here and we want to change that camera's position to come down here. We just press Ctrl and C. The camera will automatically move right there. Now, this is very handy if you want to like you know create cameras and you don't want to just put them in anywhere. You want the cameras to be where you actually want them to be. Now, I'm going to do a quick animation of the camera for you guys. Okay. Now I'm going to start this camera off. 
around here. I'm going to press um, Control and C to put the camera in. Now I'm going to do a quick test. I've never actually tried this before. Oops, let's try that again. I'm going to actually try to move it over like that and create the actual animation. So I'm in a camera. I'm going to auto key and set the key right there of the actual camera. So I haven't done that yet. So let's just move it up a bit and auto key. There we go. So we've got the camera there. Now if we move along, let's say 50, and we move the camera over, let's say like this, okay, we have to move the bottom over as well, like there, and then we move this over there, we can see that the camera is moving. Now if we click in the middle, because we've got the auto key selected, we can always change the direction of the camera between the middles. So let's say we change it there, you see how that changed? Let's say we wanna we wanna go up a bit, so we can start off with the camera being up a bit, coming down, you know, and then as it comes around, we maybe go up again a bit. So you can see now the camera's animated. Now this is what we have in the camera. You can see. So this is the cameras. This is how the cameras work, and this is the cameras. Now if you go into the settings of the cameras, you have a stock lenses. Usually use a 24mm when you create movies and stuff, but it depends. You always just usually just leave it at default and set your settings in the actual rendering setup panel right here. You click on costume and you want to render in HD, select HD, and then uh, if you press C, go to your camera, you can see you've got your whole view in HD. If you press Shift and Q to render, um, what you're going to do is you're going to render in HD right now because you actually um, set the whole thing to HD which is pretty cool so don't forget okay now cameras are very important and you need to be very careful where you place your cameras um, that's uh, the most of the things for a target camera you can actually show a cone or show a horizon like a horizon you can actually show the environmental ranges so what, you, what you're covering in the camera can you see that? If we turn it on and off we can actually see that range coming off the back which is usually um, um, handy if, if you're trying to create um, near range and far range blur effect and stuff but we won't be looking into that yet um, if you want to activate um, let's say if you want to activate what's it called? Uh, if you go to right click on the camera, go to object properties. Um, if if you're animating and stuff, you can activate the blur control. But we'll look at that uh, later on. Okay. For now, um, the camera's still got loads of settings and stuff. And this is what I meant: the blur control is depth of field. You can enable the depth of field. But I um, need to enable in a scene. So when you use the depth of field, you need to be very careful what you're doing, because if you don't know what you're doing, you, this is your target distance. You need to make sure your target distance is straight on the object you want to be focused in on. So in this case, if I just go into the scene right here and go into the camera, this camera right here, and I render that. I'm not sure where the freaking camera is right now. So I would have to work it out and do a lot of things to make sure that I'm doing that. But do note that once you do run the the depth of field, your rendering time is going to slow down dramatically. And you can see that right now. And I'm actually running a uh, quad-core uh, laptop right here. So you, you, can, you can tell that it's pretty slow. So you need to watch out. Okay, you need to make sure you've got plenty of processing power if you're going to use that per field. Usually I just use that per field in, uh, in Photoshop and After Effects. Facial depth and few things like sampling and passes and stuff. And this is all good stuff. So, this is how you use cameras in 3ds Max. Hopefully I've taught you something today about cameras. Now, we have have just cover the cameras. So I can just say basic camera setup. Yep, we've learned that. So just tick that off. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create the background setup, how to set up a background in 3ds Max. Ooh, background. Okay, so um, we can actually, um, let's say sky background actually, make that more interesting. Set up a sky background setup. 
and yeah let's just go into that right now actually so um yeah peace uh this is pav and you're doing um pretty tutorials with pav if you haven't already do go on www.yami.com and register and um we have gonna if you click on 3ds max tutorials we're gonna have all the episodes here and all the latest episodes before they come up on youtube right on here so do keep keep in mind and we're gonna have free models and stuff for downloads soon so yeah get on that but apart from that this is us and we back out now so let's go to this next tutorial peace out guys this is Pat Free Tutorials and I'm saying peace <laughs> alright and uh, don't forget to please comment and hit that like button at least for all my effort I would really appreciate that like or you know comment or subscribe whatever but yeah like and comment would just really do my day peace out guys Carocino.